It is quite possible for an asteroid to deliver a devastating blow to a planet when an asteroid collides with it, as evidenced by the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. But what happens, though, if two asteroids hit at the same time and in the same place? Seems terrible, right? So hey, mystery lovers, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we'll discuss what would be happened when two asteroids hit at the same place and at the same point in time or the wild physics of double impact asteroids. Are you excited, guys? So without any delay, let's dive into the video. But before that, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel to get every single update about the channel. These double impact asteroids were investigated on Mars in a study that is the first of its kind and was published in the journal Icarus. When researchers looked at the planet, they found hundreds of craters that most likely resulted from the impacts of a binary system. A binary system is where one asteroid orbits another asteroid in the same way that the Moon orbits Earth. Galileo, a spacecraft operated by NASA and sent on a mission to Jupiter in 1993, is credited with making the first discovery of a binary asteroid. Mission scientists were taken aback when they discovered a second asteroid orbiting in close proximity to the first, which they dubbed Ida, which they were photographing at the time. According to Harrison Agruza, an astronomer at the University of Maryland who was not involved in the creation of this new study, they were so confused. People were discussing whether or not there was something wrong with the camera. The answer is no. On the other hand, was the first object to provide conclusive evidence that asteroids could orbit in pairs, and in some cases, even more than that. Ida's companion, who was later given the name Dactyl, was extremely diminutive but served as evidence of their existence. According to Agruza, it triggered a significant shockwave throughout the community. Scientists today estimate that approximately one in every six asteroids, or approximately 16%, is part of a binary system. This conclusion is based on observations of the other millions of asteroids that exist in the solar system. One of the most well-known pairs of asteroids, Didymus, and its smaller companion, Dimorphos, will be the focus of an asteroid defense mission that will be conducted by NASA and the European Space Agency later on in this year. Asteroids can be seen orbiting around the solar system, particularly in the asteroid belt that lies between Mars and Jupiter. Since asteroids frequently collide with planets and moons, it is reasonable to anticipate that binary asteroids will also do so. However, locating binary craters can be challenging, particularly when there are a large number of other craters in the area, as is the case on the moon. It is even more difficult to find evidence of impacts on Earth because geological processes work so quickly to erase them. The Loch Ness Crater in Sweden and a smaller crater in the vicinity called Mlingen are currently the most likely candidates for the existence of a binary crater on Earth. Jens Ormo from the Astrobiology Center in Spain, who led the analysis of the craters published in 2014, stated that we dated these structures very exactly and saw that they formed at exactly the same age, which was approximately 450 million years ago. The findings of this study were published in a scientific journal. The Kamensk and Gusev craters are another promising candidate pair that has been identified. However, due to their location on the international boundary between Russia and Ukraine, it is challenging to conduct research on them in the present day and age. Craters on Mars could often be seen even after billions of years have passed. In order to find crater pairs, Vavilov and his colleagues investigated nearly 32,000 craters with a diameter of more than 4 kilometers by analyzing high-resolution images of the surface of Mars captured by orbiting spacecraft. According to the findings, 150 pairs of craters seem to have been caused by binary impacts, bringing the total number of individual craters to 300. These estimates are derived from the process of searching for pairs of crater shapes that would be anticipated following a collision between two binary asteroids. These include teardrop craters, which occur when two craters overlap one another, peanut craters, which occur when the two craters are connected at their edges, and doublet craters, which occur when there is a gap between the two craters. The relative positions of the two asteroids at the moment of impact will determine which way the two craters face when viewed from above. It's possible that some fascinating physics will emerge from the collision of two asteroids with the Earth's surface at the same time. According to Elliot Sefton Nash, who serves as the Deputy Project Scientist for the ExoMars program under the European Space Agency, the shockwaves produced by the impacts may collide, resulting in the formation of a raised ridge between the two craters or some high-pressure locations. He compares it to traveling in the opposite direction on a highway or interstate. You might be able to see distinctions in minerals that form only under extremely high pressure, the speaker says. The number of binary craters that have been discovered on Mars accounts for only about 0.5% of the total number of craters on the planet that are wider than 4 kilometers. 
This figure is significantly lower than the majority of estimates for the number of binary asteroids that should be present in the solar system. It's possible that this is because natural weathering has erased some of the impacts, or it could be that there are smaller crater pairs that are less than 4 kilometers across. According to Anthony Langan, who is the co-author of the study and works at Curtin University in Australia, there are more than 100 million impact craters that are larger than 100 meters. If you start doing smaller craters, you are going to have to spend a lot of time reviewing each one of them, the speaker said. The fact that many of the crater pairs are the same size goes against the predominant theory that attempts to explain how binary asteroids are formed. It is believed that these kinds of systems come into existence when light from the sun strikes an asteroid, which can cause the material to be pushed off of the asteroid's surface and into its orbit. This material accumulates over millions of years to form a small companion as the asteroid spins. This is evidenced by the composition of the majority of the binaries that have been observed to date. According to Agruza, it is highly improbable that a process of this kind would result in the formation of binary asteroids of the same size, which is what is suggested by crater pairs of comparable sizes. Instead, it's possible that binary asteroids are formed through some other process that's taking place somewhere else in the solar system. According to what he has to say, this points to maybe some other mechanism that we don't fully understand yet. Those are not being observed by us for unknown reasons. The dating of some of these craters would be one of the next steps that would need to be taken. This would allow us to get a glimpse into the past regarding the development of binary asteroid systems all over the solar system, which is something that we are unable to do with telescope observations at this time. According to Quan Ji Yi, an astronomer at the University of Maryland who is not involved in the study but did comment on its findings, right now we have a static picture of the solar system. This work contributes to our understanding of what might have occurred to binary asteroids as they matured over time. The possibility exists for researchers to look beyond Mars for additional evidence of binary craters elsewhere, such as on the planet Mercury or the dwarf planet Ceres. According to Lagain, Ceres is located smack dab in the middle of the asteroid belt. It would be interesting to see if the population of binary asteroids that collided with Ceres is different from what we see on Mars, the author writes. Ceres has a population of binary asteroids that collided with it. Regarding the question of whether or not there is reason to be concerned about an impact by a binary asteroid on Earth in the distant future, there isn't much cause for concern at the moment because there isn't a single known asteroid that is on a collision course with Earth, binary or otherwise. Nevertheless, the problem would present an unusual conundrum if it ever came to pass that we would have to deal with an approaching binary asteroid. Ormo says, I have no idea what we would do, and he continues by saying that it is likely that we would have to push the big one and hope the smaller one will follow. On Mars, we can now see in all its glory what would happen if we didn't preserve the planet's environment. I think, guys, we are at the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button, and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. If you have any questions or queries in your mind, tell me in the comment box and also check out our channel you find really cool stuff.